What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the database in Scratch for Discord. So if you don't know, Scratch for Discord is a platform that lets you code a Discord bot with drag and drop blocks. So if you want to get started, watch you can watch the first video on the channel and you can watch the second video on the channel to figure out how to update your Discord bot code. And let's get into the video. So for this video, I'm going to be using Preview 454. So the database is basically used for anything to store. If it's something just short term like if you do a command handler you can see that it uses a variable for arguments and commands but those are just short term but if you want to store something for a long time like if you want to do an xp system you have to store the xp the money the levels you have to store everything that you want to keep and you might be asking why can't you just use variables a lot of people ask this why would you use the database if you can just use variables to store? But the thing is, the variables you can't store for a specific member. It stores only globally. Variables are always the same no matter what. So if I, for example, if I use a variable to store XP or money, then everyone would have the exact same amount of money. If I if I do like add change money by one or whatever, it would change the money for every single person that's using your bot. But if you want it to be specific to a server or a user or even a channel or basically almost anything you're gonna have to use the database so i'm gonna use an example with leveling i'm not gonna do an actual leveling leveling system but i'm gonna do when a message is received you're gonna go to this database category and you're gonna see all of these blocks so to subtract and add is is to add a number to the value of something in the database delete you can uh, delete something from the database and set is to change the value of something in the database or and it's also used to create something in the database and this can be used in an if statement so if you do if this exists in database you can do something and get hello from the database is the actual value it gets from the database so i'm gonna do when a message is received add one to level so right now it would be adding one to level but we want this to be either a server specific or member specific so i first have to create it because right now if i do this it would have an error because there is no level in the database so you would first have to set so set something to zero it would start with zero so the actual thing in the database you would be setting we would have to do a create text with and then you're gonna have to put some type of indicator or label so that in the database just to make it easier for yourself and so it doesn't get mixed with any other things in the database so for example if i want to set the level to something i'm going to do a level and then a co a colon or a dash or something like that and this doesn't matter in any way no one no one's gonna see this and then you can go to settings this blue button of the create text width and drag another item to the bottom and it's gonna and then it's gonna add another circle i'm gonna add one more too to make it a little neat and then i'm gonna do the server so id of the server of the message and then another dash and then the id of the message author so what this is doing it's gonna set when a message is received it's gonna set level id of the server dash id of the author to zero in the database so it would look like this level server id dash author id equal to zero and of course it would replace the server id with the id of the server and author id with the id of the message author so what most people do is if they use an if statement so if not this exists in database set it to zero so when a message is received no matter what they're gonna have a value in the database with their id on it so if it doesn't exist set it to zero in the database and of course the id of the message author is different for each person in discord and so is the server and then each time you want to get it so say if you make a level command or a rank command that shows the actual level you can do a create text width and say your level is and then in the second circle you can put from the database and then it would put that person's level in here and then if you made it so you can mention someone in the command and then it would show so an 
another person's level or XP or money or whatever. The server can stay the same because it's the same server, but the ID, you can just put ID of member mentioned member. And then instead of showing the message author's level or whatever, it would show the mentioned member's data. And you can all only doing it, do this with the things I'm talking about. You can also do it to store settings. Like some bots have auto mod features that you can turn on and off. So you can make a command and if they want it off you can set you can set it to false in the database from logic you can put true or false and change it to false or true or something and then whenever you do the auto mod feature you can just do if level enabled exists in the database and it e it doesn't equal to false so if the feature is not turned off it will do whatever it's over here else you can add it an else over here and you can put a reply that feature is not enabled for the server or whatever you want and when you do a disable command you can either set the value to false or just delete it from the database but then you would have to change this over here it just it just says if it doesn't equal to false so that would be if you set it to false when it's turned off but if you just delete it to the database from the database when you want to turn it off you could just delete this and then if it's existing database that means it's turned on for that server okay that's pretty much it for today's video if you have any questions make sure to join my discord server scratch for discord world and make sure to join the scratch for discord community so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time